Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here and it's brick haul time again. We've got a package from a Polish seller on bricklink.com. Now I do believe that this order is 100% new bricks. Unlike some of the orders from bricklink.com which are used items or a mixture of both and it just makes things a lot easier but they do clean up I mean there were some pretty dirty bricks in that last uh, brick haul but um, they all washed up fine I tend to wash things just using washing up liquid and hot water about as hot as I can handle uh, and they come up fine so what have we got some 2x2 two two black plates some of the small Technic washers just to restock after building all those mobility scooters. There's a few things like that that I find very useful and worth having a small stock of. Right, all these warm gold different length pipes are for the inside of my university building. There's quite a few there. What else we got of interest? Some brown inverted slopes, some dark bluish grey sort of robot bodies. I think I'm using these to make the Ultra Agent's robotic dog. So I needed these to finish him off. Otherwise, jumper plates and so on. Ah, now this is one of the two main reasons I made this order and it's when I was making my casino I realized that this Batman existed now I'm gonna take out the uh, hands that are flesh colored because I don't like flesh colored Ooh, I'm gonna catapult a head across the desk and I'm gonna take the Batman head off as well but that leaves me with arguably the sharpest dollar bill suit in the history of Lego for a real high flyer. And that high flyer should either be in my casino or maybe leaving my casino with armfuls of cash, who knows. But I just really, really liked that suit and thought I'd better own that. And the second reason which I made this order from this store. Second major reason was this figure. Now, it's a statue. As you can see on the face, for example, it's got sort of cracking as if it was made of stone and on the torso as well. In white throughout. But it's got the crown logo on the chest there. And those of you who have watched my channel before will know that the crown is the logo of Brick Nottingham, my Brick City. So I thought it's especially poignant for me to have this figure as a statue in my city. Now it does have a second head, which is clearly when the statue wakes up and goes a bit crazy. I won't be using that. I'll just keep the hair firmly on and keep this statue face. And what I thought this would be is holding my set of scales, old fashioned style uh, scales in warm gold with a, st a stick across and two sticks down with uh, the gold uh, saucer pieces, dish pieces. And um, I thought it would look fantastic on top of a courthouse. So I haven't even thought about starting to design this courthouse yet. I've got lots of things to be getting on with in my Lego room before then as well. But once I was aware that this uh, fantastic figure existed and there are only a couple for sale in Europe, I thought I'd better buy that. So that is absolutely fantastic. I've got a bag 
of some sorted minifigure bits. So let me get these heads into a tower so we can look at them. Okay. So if anyone's seen the new Fairground People set, there's a, a child who's got his face painted to be a tiger. So I thought another one could be painted to look like a skull. So I thought that'd be uh, <laughs> a little boy, you know, at the fun fair, having that scary face. Then we've got two pretty much middle of the road female faces, but we need more of those. And then we've got kind of a stern guy with a goatee and moustache, so I quite like him. Oh, or the happy side. Very nice, either way. Then we've got some hair, we've got a black bob. Very good. Sort of mullet which I'm really looking forward to giving to somebody running a stall at the fairground, probably. Good idea. Han Solo hair. So maybe that'll be the hair for the person in the money suit. And then this long sort of hippie white hair so I can have a uh, old age hippie. So I've got a big bag of yellow, which for those of you who watch these brick hauls will know it's probably a big bag of station parts for my main station which is a big yellow building there's not a lot to share there in the sense that I've they're all pretty standard bricks two by two round one by one cone plates two by two two by one four by one bricks with studs on the side a couple of two by two slope pieces Nothing that exciting. And the final bag of this order are black roof pieces. Heads are trying to escape. Black roof pieces for the station. One last white roof piece, which is actually for a uh, aircraft control tower. Some more 2x4s in light bluish grey. I can't remember exactly what they're for. A green plate must have been cheap. And a couple more of those 2x2x3 bricks, which must have been cheap as well. So, all new bricks this time, so no washing to do. And I can put them straight into their bags waiting for the individual projects. Excellent. <coughs> Okay, there we have it. Very good order. Very good two minifigures. Being the dollar bill Batman and the crown chested statue. But altogether, really good quality, clean, nice bricks. So fantastic. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome Lego videos. And next time, we'll be doing another city update. See you next time!